Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jesus Guide, and man is it windy outside. But we are out here in Maryland once again where we've had the best luck we've ever had. Picked up another cheap unit, only paid 10 bucks for this. It's this close to getting it for five, but with 10, how can you lose? Without further ado, let's get digging. So let's get digging. You know what I noticed right off the bat? There seems to be a theme in a lot of our storage unit videos. There's a condom laying right there. And you know what's kind of strange about this? Even more strange. I'm not going to make any crazy assumptions. Why is there one chair and condoms? Like, was this somebody's, like, you know, little business room? Love shack. Maybe. Well, this thing could actually come in handy. Yeah, it is. That's something we could definitely use getting stuff, especially from the car to the house, so I'm going to keep that. I see an LG down here too. It's not the phone, but it could be something else. I don't know why it scared me. What is this? I don't know, it looks like a broken coffee mug almost, don't it? Yeah. It might just be the wind knocking stuff around. The wind think. is insane right now. The wind it's knocks insane. both of our dumpsters over. Yeah. And look at this. I really don't know what's in here. Okay, there's a lighter and chicken bones. <laughs> That's so random. That's like, oh, I don't, what do you say about that? A watermelon flavored drink with chicken bones and a lighter. Like, no, right. that's the kind of randomness you find out here. That is <laughs> this chair actually looks pretty nice though. I mean, definitely could sell it for more than 10 bucks you paid for it. Stuff the money. That'd be nice. There's a few stains on it, but I feel like this will come out with some wipes and everything. I don't think it's anything too bad. Yes. Not. Why do so many people have condoms in storage units? Why do you store them? That a speaker. It looks like a speaker. It is. Missing the batteries, but it doesn't look like anything expensive, I wouldn't think. But maybe. Who knows? There's literally not a brand on it anywhere. Portable fashion speakers. All it says. All right. Uh, looks like something from like five below or so, to be honest with you. What's in the bag? Napkins. And a cross. Napkins for the chicken bone. Oh yeah. And a little cross. Enjoy. I know a lot of people like to put tons of change in these. That was my hopes. There's water in it. Ew. Mm, I'm scared to open it. I'm scared to open that too. I'm scared it's gonna stink. Oh gosh. Open it. What the hell is that? Does it smell like anything? No, it has no sense at all. It does have, oh my God. Ugh. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells yeah. like river water. Like somebody literally took this down to the Potomac River and got water out of it. Oh my God, it That's exactly so what it smells like. That is not coming home. That's going in the trash here. Whether they like it or not. I mean, oh. That's what it smells like, just straight river water. Like somebody just like, I'm leaving Virginia or um, Maryland. Let's go get some river to remember it by. It's awful. It's, it's just a bag sad. full of socks. What's this purse here? Mary Kay. What is that? Oh, there's notes. No! Oh my god, I felt this. Like All I felt was like just paper in the envelope. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little psych there. What about this one? Just more paper. But, oh man, why would you like take that's what it, I swear that's what it smells like. Like I've been to the Potomac River enough to where it just smells like straight river water. It's kind of gross. Why would you do that? What was that? You hear that wind? What's in here? That's oh, just a cell phone case. Nothing in it, unfortunately. There's like all artwork in here. It's like one of those weird artsy people. They're like, oh, we're gonna keep water from the river. Like I just, I don't know. I don't know how to <laughs> reply to that. There's some cards. Anything else that looks interesting in here? Not really. And we'll go through the envelope and stuff once we get it home, but from what I can see, nothing that looks too interesting. What are we doing next? Now. Let's open it up. 
what is this? Just a pot. Uh, books, random little odds and ends, but I mean, looks like mostly paper and books. We'll go through it all in more detail when we do the recap. We'll let you know. Always let you know if there's anything hidden in there. <laughs> Jeans or jeggings. What mm -hmm. brand are they? I don't know. What do we have hidden? Oh yeah, I forgot. Even the pockets on these things are fake. <laughs> the front pocket or side pockets. Back pocket. I don't even know what I just said there. What are these boots? They're full of golf balls. <laughs> Alright. Straight up, like look in a feather. Okay, this is like becoming one of the weirdest storages I've ever bought. Like Connie, you got river water, you got a spoop. Ah! A light. Let's go turn on the light. There we go. All right. As I was saying though, they're both, they both have golf balls and a feather each. Like they both have one feather in them. This one has some perfume too. You can spray but, that in the unit because it stinks. And some blunt toys, so there we go. What do you expect from Maryland? I don't know how to feel no more. That was, oh. Did you hear that wind? Can you, I wonder if you could hear this on camera. Like, this is insane today. Let's see. A tornado! That's what it sounds like. <clears throat> Just the hat. I mean, all that it feels like in here is a pillow. Right. Pillow and blanket. So. What about this side? Anything. Trash bags. What is that? Not sure. What is this person? Like, who owned this? This is a really strange person. <laughs> Nothing in there. We got a purse with more condoms in it. Enjoy. Literally, why do you need so many condoms? There's more. Jeez. Some linen things or dryer sheets. Um, what is this? Soap. This is like a very, very strange storage man, I gotta say. What brand is this purse anyway? Uh it's a coach. It says it on the tag. And it's got the number on it too. So, $10 unit guys. If that's authentic coach purse, we'll look it up and clean it out once we get it home and look up the numbers and everything. If it matches up, that's it. Man, I keep thinking people are coming because that wind is just so powerful right now. Let's see, jump. Jump. Let's see what's in here. Looks like this clothes. Yeah, dirty clothes. <laughs> Donation. This might be just clothes as well. Bug lovers, I just killed another one. <laughs> He's still going. He's still going? He can go. Yeah. Just for all you people that are like, I killed the bugs! Well, let him go this time. But this looks to be all clothes as well, but we don't know if there's going to be any name brands or anything like that, so that's something we're going to have to go through as well. And other than that, looks like it's just closed. Oops. Little thing of laundry detergent. He ain't getting away. Little thing of laundry detergent and trash. So, for 10 bucks, coach purse is definitely worth it. The dollar thing is definitely worth it, and who knows what else we have. But i got to say, again, feathers, river water, weird green slime. This is a weird one. Very weird one. So. Hopefully we'll be able to fit this on the car, we're gonna load up, and then when we get home, we'll do a recap, and I'll see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap on this unit. Not very many hidden treasures, but there was something pretty funny I gotta show you. But first, let's get through the stuff that's worth something. Got a Mary Kay bag here, not in the greatest of shape. I mean, it's got some stuff on it, but I think mostly it's just stuff that'll come off with a wipe, so I don't think it's in that bad of shape, but again, these aren't worth too much. Like, I see these on Poshmark for about 15 bucks, so we'll probably list this for 10 or 15 bucks, but I mean, the inside's got all the flowers in it. It's in decent shape, like I said. It still zips and everything, so I'm hoping we'll probably get 10 bucks for that. This little thing was just full of random, like, costume jewelry. Nothing was real, unfortunately. All 
just random stuff like that. But people have told me in the past, and now that I see, you can lot up costume jewelry and sell it on eBay. Not for very much now. You're not going to get a much for that, but that may, might be like a $20 bag for all that stuff. But it's a decent amount in there. Bunch of charger wires, too. I think there's two aux cords and two Android chargers in this bundle, so not really valuable, but just something we can use because they break a lot. Ugh. A uh, hair straightener. I didn't even get a chance to look up the brand on this, but it has a $70 price tag on it right there. And it's brand freaking new. Literally, it's never been taken out of the package yet. So, maybe if I look it up, hopefully it's at least to fetch another 20, 30 bucks maybe since it is brand new. Like the plastic seal thing has never been broken yet. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is worth anything. I can't see a brand, but I kept it because it looks like alligator maybe. Definitely looks like some kind of skin on it, but I just realized the buckle does say something. It looks like it says Sheng. Oh, S H E N G. That's all. So I don't know. If anyone ever heard of Sheng? But it does look like some type of animal. But maybe it's just fake plastic. Who knows? These boots, unfortunately, are not valuable at all. They're sold at Walmart, or this brand is sold at Walmart, brand new for like $55. So these again might be something that's worth like 10 bucks on Poshmark or something like that. Not big money makers, but little things add up. The speaker, we still have no idea what it's worth, so I don't really know. This will probably just be a flea market item because we don't really know. It doesn't have a brand on it anywhere, but it does not look expensive. Like you can even see this peeling off. It's probably just something from five below if I had to take my guess. Another umbrella. These usually sell for, again, a couple bucks at the yard sale flea market. So, like I said earlier, not very high end stuff in this one, but it's good stuff. The best thing, definitely though, the one that really saved the unit is the coach purse that we looked up and the number and everything in there did match. This thing is pretty much in flawless condition and we see these selling for about 75 to 100 bucks used on Poshmark and eBay. So this will definitely make up for the unit. I'm so glad this was in there because if not, we would have made like maybe 15 or 20 bucks. It wouldn't have been the best one, but this one will definitely push it over $100 easy total. And one thing, no value, but I just thought I'd tell you or show you. You know how we always find condoms in storage units? I think this unit broke the record in one bag. We didn't put this together. This is one bag. Look at this. That has to be like a hundred condoms or more all in one single bag. Like why? Why do you need that many? And it goes back to our theory at the beginning. Like what was going on in this unit? That's just what I want to know. Why do you have a little tiny unit with one chair in it? One chair just sitting there. And then you have a bag with a hundred and some condoms in it. Just, I don't know. It doesn't add up. You got to think about that. <laughs> it just, it doesn't add up to anything good. I should say, but Maybe they had a little side business going on in a storage unit. I would not be surprised, honestly, but I don't know. But a huge bag of condoms was kind of funny. And again, all the stuff we might make like 150 to a little, maybe a little more than that. It was a $20 unit, so yeah, still did all right. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. And if you want to follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the link down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Peace out.